Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the custom commands in Cypress and we will also be using a chat GPT. So let's begin. Cypress, we can create custom commands and once you create a custom command, you can use that command as many times as you want in your test. So let's take a scenario to understand about the custom commands in detail. So let me go here and let's uh, discuss a scenario. So scenario is that you have an e-commerce application where you need to log in and after login, uh, you need to uh, update your profile. Then you need to log out. Okay, and then again, um, this is your scenario, and this is your uh, scenario one. And let me uh, change this to methods here because uh, it will be more appropriate to understand about the custom command. So, this is your scenario one. Let me copy this one from here and let me paste it here. Then again, we have a scenario two where we need to test. For example, a wish list, okay, and then uh, there is a third scenario where you have add to cart functionality. So add to cart, add to cart, and so there can be multiple scenarios. So the thing here we need to notice is that the login and logout are basically repetitive here. So in general what we will do is that we will be writing a code to log in the user and then we will write the code uh, for the logout so we'll be writing the code here 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 and tomorrow if there is a change then we, what we need to do is that we need to update on every scenario so this is the one problem okay and the second problem is that there is a repetition of the code and it will be a less efficient when executing our automation scripts so what we, we should do so what we will do is that we will create a custom command for login and logout and we will just call those features here so call login and similarly what we'll do is that call logout and and that's it so similarly we will do for every scenario here so let me change for all the scenarios here and uh, now let me copy the call logout here and this one and this one so what i will do that i will create a custom command for login and logout and i will call them in our scenario so they will be write i will write automation script once for login and log out so so benefit of uh, you know we already discussed the benefits right so we will write once we will call them as many times as we want right so the benefit is that right ones efficient so efficient then maintainability is easy because we need to update only at one place so maintainability maintenance maintenance and then obviously it will write less effort so these are you know the benefits so the idea here is that we need to create a custom command for those uh, features which are repeatable which are reusable so that that's that's the key thing here we need to understand so what i'll do is that now uh, for this particular tutorial i will be using a particular website this is a demo on hrm live let me copy this one from here and let me go to the browser here and let me paste this one so this will land on the demo website of on a hrm and on this particular page you will see a login feature where we will be providing a username and password and they have already provided a username and password for this one so we will just provide username and password and click login right so what i'll do is that i know that this will be reusable based on my scenarios and approach so i will create a custom command for this one so first we will create a very simple scenario and then we will convert that login scenario into a custom command okay so let's go to the visual studio code here and let me create one file i'm naming it as custom command.js and i will be 
copying some line of the code from previous script let me go to a simple script somewhere yes so let me copy this one from here and paste it here and i will remove this part from here and it's basically change the description of this suit so custom learn custom commands okay and validate login using custom commands okay and the first thing we need to do is that we need to visit this particular website and uh, let me go here and copy the url from here and let me paste it here and uh, so we have a uh, paste our url so let me save this one and let me open the, the cypress and px cypress open it will open the test runner here and once it will open the trust runner, what we will do is that we will dry run this one and see either this web page is loading properly or not. And then once it will be open, we will complete our rest of the script where we will be locating the username and password and we will be clicking on the login button to in order to log into the system, right? So it will take some time, it will load the um, test runner and once it will be done, we will be writing our code here and yes our test runner is up and running and here we have our test called um the name of the test is basically custom command.js so i'm clicking on this one so it will land on this particular page here and let's see what happens here so yes it's redirecting to this page and it should uh, log in. it should uh, land on this particular page here and once it will open we'll see what happens here so it's taking some time it's loading here and yes the online time page is open here in the cypress now i will create a quickly a script for this one so let me copy this one from here and here i need to provide this one then we need to type and type the username here which is admin and similarly what i need to do is that i need to locate the password field and uh, this is uh, this is a password field let me copy this one from here and let me open this one here and now again we need to type here and simple we need to provide the user password now what we need to do is that we need to click on the login button right so let me go back here and inspect this button copy this one from here and now let's go back here and provide this one and we will use the uh, click method in order to click on the login button let me save this one and it will execute and see what happens it should provide the username password and then click on the login button in order to log into the system and yes the script is absolutely working fine here and now what i'll do is that i will put some assertions in real case you have also need to test the login functionality instead of only creating a custom command so what i'll do is that uh, i will simply write some custom command here is that cy dot sorry i'm writing some um assertions here so cy dot url and url dot should okay and should i will be using include and what should it include so let me go here and it says you know index slash index dot php right so this is something i will use that in order to assert this url and uh, let me go back to just report here and i will say here so index dot php and let me put one more session on the title see where dot title and uh, title here dot should then here i will say contains title should contains what it should contains so let me go here 
and let me log in here and see what is the title then when one two three let me log in into this one and yes we are logged in let me right click on this one go to inspect and here in the header we have this title called orange hrm so let me copy this one from here and paste it here and let's save this one and see what happens we i just put a very basic assertions you can put a proper assertion when you are working on this one and yes our script got executed successfully and the assertions are also passed now this is a very simple approach here now i will what i will do is that i will convert this long script into a custom commands so let me go to the browser here and let's search for cypress custom commands so yes so this is the website official website click on this one so it will land on the custom command page so you can create your custom command you can also change the existing command you can override the existing command but we don't need to do that and uh, let's go to the syntax here so simple syntax here is that cypress.commands.add and you can add you need to provide the name then callback function and there are multiple other things you can do is that you can provide the options you can provide the callback object right so there are multiple ways to create this one and the correct usage is that cypress.commands.add then you need to provide the name then you need to provide the arguments and then you need to provide this kind of a data here okay so this is a very simple uh, and we need to create in a very simple way so what i'll do is that let me go to visual studio code here and for this uh, what we need to do is that we need to go to the uh, basically support and then commands.js this is the place where we can actually create a command so if i scroll up you will see this cypress.command.add cypress so they already provide some syntaxes here right so what i'll do is that let's create a custom command so cypress cypress dot commands dot add okay and in add what we need to do is that first we need to provide the name so the name of this custom command is basically it should reflect to the functionality so i'm naming it as login and and then what i need is that because the login feature takes two parameters we need to provide the username and password right so what i'll do is that i will provide the parameters here which is username and the second parameter is basically a password and then i need to use a callback arrow function here so this is the body and simply what i need to do is that i need to go back to my custom command script and i will copy this complete code from here right so simply copy all this one and let me copy this one from here and paste uh, this here in your custom command because you want all these steps to be a part of your login custom command and the second thing is that uh, we don't need to provide the hard-coded values uh, whenever we call it we will provide the values so for that what i'll do is that i will copy this username from here and here instead of this hard-coded value i will provide the username and simply i will copy the password from here and i will provide the password here okay and now we are done with our custom command so what i'll do is that i will save this one now our custom command is ready so i will go back to my this main script so instead of using whole of this bunch of the code from here so simply what i'll do is that i will be using cy dot login which we created and that's it so this is what we need to do but we know that this particular commands take two arguments here username and password so we need to provide username and password because we are calling it here so what i'll do is that simply i will provide the username and then i will 
be providing the password which is admin123 so let me save this one and see what happens so you will see that it will execute the whole complete login feature set as well so what i did here is that i create a custom command and whenever i need to use i will call this cy.login provide the username and password and that's it and tomorrow if there is any change in the login feature simply i will go to my custom command and i will update here and that's it so i just need to update only at one place and call it as many times as i want let's suppose if i want to call into another test here simply i can do that so instead of writing the whole login code i will just calling this one and similarly i will be calling for logout or any other uh, feature which which i believe that that needs to be reused multiple times in different scenarios so i will create a custom command and i will use it so also what i can do is that uh, for example if you want to create a database connection and in your application you have to create uh, multiple queries to your application so what i'll do is that i'll create one custom command where i will i will be making a connection and then i will be calling it wherever i need it so this is a benefit and usage of custom command let me save this one and now let's go to the chrome here and let me open the chat gpt and let's see what chat gpt says about the custom commands in cypress is loading so let me go to this Cypress automation here and let me ask what are custom commands in Cypress and how to use them right so let's see what chat GPT says about this one custom cards allow you to create your own reusable commands that's what we learned these command can encapsulate complex functionality, simplify repetitive tasks, yes, and improve the readability of your code, yes. Uh, again, uh, here examples. So in example, create a new file in support. We have already support. Uh, we have already command.js, so we don't need to create this one. Then we can define our custom command using sappers.commands.add method. And here is the example. And exactly this is what we need we did we just didn't provide the visit url here we can do we can also provide this one here as well and then simply what we can do is that we can provide uh we can call in our test and we provide my username and password and we can do the assertions so pretty much very very accurate here in terms of uh, the custom commands so this is all about uh, the custom commands Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.